Hello everybody, Ghosty here, and today I'm going to be showcasing my developer options mod for Infinity Blade 3. So, to go ahead and get this installed, you're going to need to come to the Google Drive link, um, and I'll have a link in the description for that. You're going to need to download the patcher so that we can patch these inside of the Infinity Blade file. And you're also going to need the mod.json folder or file. Um, and you can also download these other ones if you want to. I already have them uh, downloaded and ready to go. So after that, you're going to need to have your Infinity Blade file. Now, first of all, we're going to need to come inside of here and then come to payload, so game.app. And we're going to need to type in iPhone. And you're going to see all this pop up. Delete the iPhone POC.txt folder or file. And then once we have that installed, it'll take, or not installed, but deleted, it'll take a second. Um, we can come back over here. Now we can go ahead and patch these mods into the file. Right, yeah. So. We're going to open up the patcher. We're going to come to mods, IP3, and then we're going to take all of these, and then we can simply either copy or just drag them into here. Okay. And then after that is done, we can go ahead and come back to the um, patcher right here. We're going to take the file right here for Infinity Blade 3. It could either be in .zip or .ipa um, format. It doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and just drag it into here. Let it do its thing. And after it is complete, it will have a new file created for us um, called whatever you had it originally or dash modded. And there you go. That is essentially how to get the mod up and running. And now here is a showcase of what its capabilities are. 